So I spent a little bit of time just trying to set up two identical projects, one in Astro and one in Next. You just compare like the, the, the final bundle size of both of them to see like how much smaller does Astro actually make your site versus using something like Next. Now I will say that Next has like Im an image component that really optimizes your images and I'm not doing that in this example. So there are some more things that Next has out of the box that would probably make this comparison a little bit more like equal. Um, but I'm just basically trying to take the exact same code from one project, paste it into the other project and just compare like, okay, how much, how much bigger is one versus the other? So over here, we have the Astro site. It has, the only difference is it has some text that says Astro here. And on the right, we have some text that says next. But other than that, like the background color is a little bit darker on this, so we can kind of uh, distinguish between them. But we got, you know, some tabs, some images, some icons, and then we have like a, a form that users can type into, which updates some React state under the hood. Okay, so let's compare the code real quick, and then I'll show you the actual like uh, bundle size differences. So the way I set this up is right now we're looking at the Astro site. I have a pages file, like an Astro index, and I'm just loading in a JSX component and saying client load, right? So this index page does have a little bit of uh, interactivity to it. Like it has a subscribe component where when the user types, I need to update some state and keep track of that. And by the way, if you're like uh, really good at Astro, like call me out if there's something that I didn't do correctly. But basically my Astro site is just loading in my index page, which is written in TSX. And then inside of here, we have, you know, some importing some icons, we have a nav bar, we have some main, all the styling is done with L and CSS. We have a input down here where when the user types into it, it changes some state and keeps track of that. And then we have a footer. And if I go over to the next site, it's basically the identical code as the same footer index and nav bar that I copied over. Um, nothing is different between this. It's the exact same CSS between Tailwind, same Tailwind config. Um, and if I look at the main index page, again, this is just your next page that's importing that index component and we display it here. So again, like I'm trying to say that there's like literally no difference between the code bases. And I want to see like, what is the performance difference? Like how, how much smaller is one bundle than the next? Okay, so that's the comparison for the code. Now I do have both of these. I went ahead and just did a, a yarn build for Astro and I'm hosting this disk directory using like my own HTTP server. Okay, so it's just hosted locally just to host the files. Same, with the, same thing with next. I'm doing a next build and I also did a next export. So to kind of simulate if I were to update these static sites or the static static pages to a CDN or something, this would be uh, the files. All right, so let's just go ahead and refresh this page and you'll see that it does request and it does about 708 kilobytes of data transferred. Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that. So 708 kilobytes for 18 different requests. A lot of those are from files. Let's look at the actual JavaScript. It's about 166 kilobytes for the JavaScript. Um, and a majority of everything else comes from images, right? So if you can optimize the images, you'd probably just reduce this entire page application. So it's really only, it really only makes sense to compare maybe the CSS, which is 11 kilobytes and the JavaScript, which is 166. Let's do the same thing with next. All right, so let's just do the same thing with next. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh the page. It's about 809 kilobytes transferred. So it's a little bit larger by like 50 kilobytes, which isn't really that game changing. And then if you were to compare the CSS, the CSS is actually smaller for some reason. I don't know if I maybe have some like rogue CSS laying around with the Astro site. And then comparing the JavaScript, it's 255 kilobytes. So I don't know why the, uh, the Next has so much more JavaScript. It has almost 100, yeah, almost 100 kilobytes of more JavaScript. So if you're kind of a, a, a penny pincher when it comes to your bundle size, I guess Next does have some additional things on it. Now, again, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. I don't know what the additional stuff that's being sent over from Next is. I'm guessing it's shipping more of the React code or doesn't do as good of a job optimizing the JavaScript as it builds it. There's definitely a lot more JavaScript files coming across the wire. There's like nine compared to Astro only has three. And over here, the load took almost uh, double the time, 343 milliseconds versus 142. So one thing we can also do is just go to Lighthouse and let's just run the performance on Next. And after this is done, we're gonna compare it against Astro as well. Okay, so performance is 100%. You have the first Contentful Paint 0.2, Tiny Interaction 0.2, Speed Index 2, largest Contentful Paint 
6.7. So again, like since this isn't actually hosted on a real website, like the score is just going to be really great anyway because my hosting is from because my hosting is like directly from my other my laptop. Let's just do the same thing just for the sake of it on Astro. I'm assuming that these are both going to be 100 percent in terms of performance. So what we're really checking isn't really that important. This one's a little bit larger for some reason, 0.4, and this could have just been like a hiccup on my network um, driver on my laptop. And then this is 0.5. So I don't really know if this is even worth looking at per personally. So one thing that Astro is supposed to be pretty good at is like only including the JavaScript using islands um, architecture when you need it. So we could potentially refactor the index a little bit. And instead of having all the JSX be in this separate file, I'm going to bring this all in here. And let's see if we could potentially uh, do this. So I want to make sure I don't have any like React stuff. I don't want any JavaScript stuff here. All right, let's just try to like clean this code up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have that set up. Can I bring in these components and can I ref refactor class name to be class? Okay. And there might be a way to use JSX on the Astro side. I, might, I don't know if I just have to rename this. Again, I'm a complete noob when it comes to Astro. I'm just trying to see if there's ways to like make this more performance. All right, so what I want to do is that there's this form here that this is the thing that actually needs like the use book state. I'm going to delete that form and I'm going to actually import it from another component here. So I have a subscribe component which has that form and it has like the use state and it would have the logic for what happens when you try to subscribe. And what we could do is first of all, I'm going to go ahead and say yarn dev to make sure my Astro site is running. I'm going to refresh the page, make sure this all loads up correctly and make sure that my subscribe thing is actually set up with the JavaScript. One thing I've noticed is kind of strange about Astro is that you have to verify your code is properly cliently loaded or else you won't have the JavaScript files. Right now, as I type, it should be putting some text over here. So I know my JavaScript has not loaded and it's not working. So you have to basically tell Astro what components you want to like load in. So in this case, we could say load this thing in only when it's visible. Okay, so I'm going to add client visible and then I'm going to go back and refresh this page. And what's going to happen is that as I scroll down, when I get to that part of the application, it will then load in that subscribe component, load in the React code, hydrate the page, and then it'll start allowing me to type in and I get the functionality. That's something I really think is really cool about um, Astro. I don't think Next potentially has that. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe with the new Next um, app directory, you can do something that something like that with like server-side components. Um, but let's just go ahead and bundle this again. So I'm going to say yarn build to build our Astro site. And I want to make sure that I'm doing this, the, the same comparison. I'm going to go ahead and host that directory. And then I'm going to refresh the page. And then again, let's just compare the overall page size. So let's just refresh this real quick. And I want to point out that it says 543 kilobytes transfer. So that's a decent saving. Like before, I think it was like I think that's almost like 100 kilobytes less than it was before. I believe it was like 660 before or 760 or something. Um, actually, I don't remember. I have to go back in the video. But I think it's either 100 or 200 kilobytes that we saved because we don't need that JavaScript code until the user scrolls down to the subscribe, right? So as I'm scrolling, when they get to that subscribe panel, you'll see it fetch some JavaScript. And it fetches 144 kilobytes of JavaScript later on and like lazy loads that in. So overall, like the Astro site is going to be a much lower bundle size when they first load, which obviously is going to make the site run faster, right? Because it dynamically fetches that data later on. So I just wanted to share that with you all. I think it was pretty cool. I think Astro is pretty cool. Um, if you need like a static site and you need it to be as small as possible and like only load code when you need it, but you still want to work with like JSX and React, these are some approaches you could potentially take. There's also like... Um, Find idle, load, media only. I, yeah, I have to go look into those. I'm Again, I'm still trying to learn Astro, but pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool framework. If you really want to fine tune how much data is sent over the wire when your page loads, because at the end of the day, data is money and you want to reduce that to make it so that your clients can load as fast as possible. Anyway, call me out in the comments if I said anything wrong and uh, or if I didn't truly show next in its best light, I'm okay with being called out. But other than that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, press the bell icon, and I have a Discord. You can join if you want to talk to me directly or just find a place to get help. 
And I have a newsletter that you're welcome to subscribe to if you want to uh, get some tips and tricks about web development in the future. Have a good day and happy coding.